Welcome back. The Lobos are a day away from hitting the hardwood in the quarterfinals. And for one Lobo, it will be nice to see a few familiar faces in the crowd. There's always a lot of red here at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. Tomorrow, it will be cherry and silver. The Mountain West Tournament is known for being well stocked with Lobo fans. That's who our fans are, and that's why we appreciate our program. And uh, it's an honor to run this program because of the fans. For one family, this year's tournament is extra special. Mike and Andre Greenwood have been to the Thomas and Mack Center to watch their son Hugh and the Lobos play UNLV, but not for the tournament. Last year he rang me up after they won the tournament and said it was something that you shouldn't miss. So, because um, he was turning 21 last week, we thought we'd come over and see for ourselves and hopefully get the same result. And with mom here, it makes everything all stable for Hugh, right? Does it help Hugh a little bit? I don't know if it's going to be a help or a hindrance, but he hasn't got any choice. We're here just to support him. The Thomas and Mack is almost like Mike and Andre remember. But the floor has changed, courtesy of the Mountain West. You know, we always try to look for improvements uh, at the Thomas and Mac and trying to figure out a way to make it a true neutral site uh, venue. And one way we, we did it this year was we brought in the women's final four floor from last year in Denver. Neutral court or not, there will more than likely be more Mountain West tournaments in Mike and Andrew's future. Daughter Josie is starting her Lobo career with the women's team next season. Her and a future Lobo freshman met for the first time today. Where else? In Las Vegas at the Mountain West Tournament. In the men's quarterfinals tomorrow, it will be the Mountain West Conference champion Lobos against the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys outlasted the Nevada Wolfpack tonight, 85 to 81. Van Tate, KRQE News 13 Sports, Las Vegas.